Hello everyone, this is Lika from Informatica GCS team. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how SED type 2 is implemented using Informatica Power Center. The agenda of this video is to give an overview of SED type 2 and then the implementation of SED type 2 using an Informatica Power Center mapping. Slowly changing dimension type 2 is a method of tracking history data by retaining the complete history of values. That is, when there is a change to any attribute, the current record will be closed, which will become a history, and a new record will then be created, which becomes the current record. There are three ways of implementing SED type 2. First is effective date range mapping in which the changes are tracked by maintaining the start and end date of each version. Second is version data mapping. Here the changes are tracked by versioning the primary key. Third is flag current mapping, where the changes are tracked by flagging the current version. In this video, I'll be showing how SED type 2 is implemented using effective date range mapping. Firstly, let us see the structure of source and target to our mapping. This is my customer source with customer ID, first name, last name, city and phone number. This is my customer target with key column to uniquely identify each row in the table. Customer ID, first name, last name, city and phone number would be loaded from customer source. And the start date here indicates the date when this particular record was inserted into the table. The end date here indicates the expiry date of a particular record. For example, if customer Leo Cliff moves from the city in New York to San Jose, then a new record would be inserted with city as San Jose and this record will become a history. That is when the end date of this history record will be updated with previous day's date. Moving to the mapping. This is my customer source definition with customer ID, first name, last name, city and the phone number. The same has been mapped to source qualifier. The lookup transformation here is used to Look up on the customer target table to determine whether the customer is an old customer or he is new. And that is done based on the ID column. All the ports from source qualifier are mapped to the expression transformation along with key, city and phone ports from lookup transformation. This expression transformation is used to derive the start date and end date. Start date is derived using the sysdate and end date is derived using add to date function to do date minus 1. The router transformation here is used to route the data into two different flows. One is update and the other one is insert. Insertion is done in two different scenarios here. The first scenario is when the customer is new. That is, the key return from lookup target is null as it could not find the matching ID in the target. And the second scenario is when the customer is an existing one but there is a change to either the city or phone number which is covered in this R part here. The update flow here is used to update the end date for history records. Update strategy for insertion is used to update the data into customer target in two different scenarios as I mentioned before. And the key column here is populated with unique number for each row by using a sequence generator transformation. Up 
update strategy for update is created to update the end date for history records with previous day's date and this is done based on the key value. As a whole, this is my mapping. A session has been created in the workflow with all the connection details. Now I am starting the workflow. The workflow has succeeded now and in the statistics we can see that two records have been extracted from the source, two are loaded to the customer target and there was also an update to the target. Now if I check my target, Leocliff was an already existing customer but as there was an update to his city from New York to San Jose, there is a new record inserted with the changed value, start date as today's date and end date as null. And this history record here has been updated with previous date as end date. Also there is a new customer Chris Lawn whose details are inserted into the table with null end date. So this is how SED type 2 is implemented using Informatica Power Center mapping. We would love to hear from you any suggestions that will help us in improving our video content. With this I will be closing the video. Thank you.